hose, cut it straight across and make sure it's not slanted. While pressing the white collar of the fitting, pull the hose to disconnect. When connecting, push the hose all the way in and make sure it does not fall out. While pressing the white collar of the fitting, pull out the end cap. You may do this for both in and out. Under the sink, you will find the cold water valve. Make sure you close this valve all the way and check that the cold water is turned off. Disconnect the hose connected directly to the cold water valve using a wrench. Connect the adapter directly to the water valve. Please make sure the black rubber o-ring is inside of the adapter. Reconnect the hose that was connected to the cold water valve. Remove the nut from the adapter. After passing the hose through the nut, connect it by pushing the hose all the way to the adapter. Then you may tighten the nut. Connect the regulator and dust filter carefully. Make sure the arrows point the same way as the water flow. Fix the regulator neatly to the sink wall by screwing it on. Push the white hose into the regulator. Make sure it does not fall out. Then push down the white hose into the sink so you may connect it to the dust filter. After doing so, you may neatly organize it by stapling the white hose onto the wall. Under the machine, there is an in and an out. Make sure you connect the white hose to the in fitting, and then you may connect the gray hose to the out fitting. After you have done so, turn on the water valve, and that is the installation of the water ionizer.